Welcome to RK Tutorials, Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 3.1 and problem number 3.4. A vertical mast of weight Q guided at A and B is kept in equilibrium by the support C as shown in the figure. Neglecting friction at the guides determine the vertical reaction RC and the horizontal reactions RA and RB if A is equal to 0.3 meters, L is equal to 0.6 meters. That means there is a weight Q is guided by two guides A and B and it is also supported by a roller support C. Our interest is to find the reactions at A, B and C. Now here A and B are the guides which permits only the vertical motion and there is no horizontal motion. Horizontal reactions will develop at A and B, RA and RB. Now at C, uh, only horizontal movement will be permitted, but there is no vertical motion. Hence, vertical reaction will develop Let that vertical reaction is RC. Now to satisfy the equilibrium, the net force along x-axis must be equal to 0. There are only two forces that are acting along x-axis, hence RA plus RB is equal to 0 and sigma Fy is equal to 0, there are two forces are acting along y axis, one is Q and another is RC, hence RC is equal to Q. So this is one of the answer, I calculated RC value. So now to calculate the other two reactions RA and RB, let us consider the moments about any point in the system. So I will consider the moments about point A. RA is passing through the point A, hence that will not introduce any moment. RB will introduce a moment. Now. RC will also introduce a moment. Q will also introduce a moment, but this distance is very, very small. This distance is very, very small. Hence, I can neglect this distance. I can neglect this distance. Almost I can equals to uh, zero. Hence, the Q will also will not introduce any moment. So, by considering now sigma MA is equal to zero, RB into the perpendicular distance is L. So, this will introduce a moment in this direction and RC into the perpendicular distance is A, which will also introduce a moment in the same direction. Hence, RB into L plus RC into A is equal to 0. And after substituting the corresponding values of L is equal to 0.6 and A is equal to 0.3, I got this equation. Upon simplification, you will get RB is equal to minus 0.5 cube. That means the assumed direction of RB is wrong the RB will act in this direction. But the magnitude is 0.5 Q, but the direction will act in this direction. So RB is equal to minus 0.5 Q. Now take equation 1. From equation 1, upon substituting this RB in equation 1, I will get RA is equal to 0.5 Q. So these two are the answers for the